Hello, beautiful sons and daughters of God. Welcome back to my channel. It's Youth for God all the way. Good evening, good night, everyone. I'm coming on here just to go ahead and give you guys a word of encouragement, just to read a scripture. And I won't be on here for too long, but I'm just going to give it a few minutes before you guys do come on ahead and jump on. I hope you all had a beautiful evening, a beautiful night, and just had a great day today. So we're going to give it a few minutes before we do go ahead and jump into it. Good night, Miss Williams. Good night. It's just me and you guys tonight. It's just me and you guys. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> I'm here to spend some quality one-on-one -on -one time with all of you, and we're just going to enjoy God together. Good night, Miss Wendy. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Williams. <laughs> Again, just a few seconds, and then we'll go ahead and jump into it. And while we're waiting, I just want to make an announcement. So we're going to have like a little, a little karaoke night, maybe on Saturday, more than likely. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have some, you know, we'll have some guests come on and sing. Good night, good night. And I would love for you guys to come on too, but you guys never call me. Like, I'm so hurt. You guys never call. Like, nobody calls me. I just, you guys never participate. But we're going to be doing that. Um, I'm just going to be singing some songs of worship to God, of course. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Hmm? Sunday night. Oh, Sunday night. Sorry, not Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. I'm so sorry. I gave you the wrong day. We're doing it on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And please, you guys, I'm telling you, come on and part to sing a song. Listen, like I tell Auntie Tats, because <laughs> Auntie Tats is like, I wish I had a voice. I'm like, Auntie Tats, it don't matter because God knows what you're trying to do. God doesn't care if you can sing or not. As long as you're sending him up worship, he loves it either way. You know, so I just really would love for you guys to come on and join and just like, you know, participate and put your little two cents in. If you don't want to sing, you don't have to sing. You could pray. You could just give a word of encouragement. You could do whatever you want to do. But again, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So I just want to sing a song before we go ahead and dive into the scripture I'm going to read. All right. So bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name, for I will bless the Lord, oh, my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name for he has done great things for me he has done great things for me he has done great things bless his holy name for i will bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his 
has done great things for you and I know he has done great things for you and I just pray that he continues to keep you guys because he is such a good God that we do need to bless his name every single day and any chance that we get to so I want to read Psalms 91 and I'm reading from the NIV version Again, good night, everyone. Good night, Miss Love on Love. Good night, Miss Edwards. Good night, everybody. So I'm reading Psalms 91, the NIV version, and it says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, whom in I trust, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He, call, he will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And that is just, we call on God. And I like that, that chapter right there, Psalms 91. We call on God and he's saying, because you say you love him, because you call on his name, because he's, you look up to God, he will always be there to protect you. He will always be there to, in your times of trouble, he will deliver you and honor you and he will satisfy you in your long life. And I love that about God. When you call on his name in your time of trouble, he is there. He is there to protect you under his wings when you sleep, when you go about your day-to-day -day life. If you claim to know God, he is there protecting you every step of the way. He is there honoring your name. He is there for you whenever you might possibly need him. Even when you don't need him, he is right there for you. And I just love that about God. And like I was saying on the live before, that God is love. He is, he has the biggest heart. Let's put it that way. God has the biggest heart possibly known. His love, you cannot measure his love that he has for you. 
And sometimes we feel like we don't deserve the love of God. Sometimes we don't feel like we even have the right to call on God's name because we've done something that we deem unforgivable or that God will look at us differently or God has turned his back on us. But God has such a big heart that no matter what you do, no matter what you say, he will forgive you and he will throw it into the sea of forgetfulness. God is such a great God. And I just want to encourage you guys because he is a good God. And sometimes we forget that. I know we are supposed to fear God as well because God is a jealous God and he does get jealous. If you don't put God before any everybody in your life, he is a very jealous God. And I tell everybody that, that God always has to be first in your life. No matter what you do, the first name you call on before you pick up your phone and call anybody else, you got to call God. Before you text anybody else in your phone, you better text God. Before you go on, on Instagram and DM anybody, you better DM God. Okay? Before you leave a, a comment in YouTube on the YouTube page or the Facebook page, you better go ahead and comment on God's page. God has to always be first in our lives, no matter what, because we are nothing and we can do nothing by ourselves. We can't. God controls our lives. He does. He, he holds all the strings. We're just a puppet. And he's a puppet master. He's pulling all the strings. We might think our lives are in, con we control our own lives, but God does. He does. He controls every little thing. And we just have to thank him every single day. We do because we see our lives. Before anybody sees our lives, we see what we go through. We see what God has blessed us with. We see how good God is. We know our testimonies. We know the trials and tribulations we go through. We know what's in our hearts, what's in our minds. We know before anybody else does. Only you and God know what's going on. But you got to look at your life and just see how good God is to you to you and you alone. Sometimes we look at other people's lives and we're like, God, why can't I have that? Why do I have to struggle every single day? Why can't I have a peaceful life where I don't have to worry about everything, where I don't have to stress over everything? Why can't that be me? But you have to be grateful for the life that you have. You have to be grateful for the blessings that you have in your life because yes, some people have it better off, then some people might have it better off than me. Some people might have it better off than you. But listen, no matter what you go through, you have God. Those people might not have God in their life. They might not know God, but you do. And that right there is a privilege. Right there alone is a honor because you know God and God knows you. He knows you. He knows all his children. But there are some of us that are a little bit more special than others because we acknowledge him. We call on him. We tell him thank you. We tell him we love him. We pray to him every single day and every chance that we get. And he might love us just a little bit more. Now, I, I, was, <laughs> I used to ask my mom because I have older siblings. I'm the baby of the pack, okay? I'm the baby. I'm a little baby here. But I was, you know, how kids love to ask their parents, do you have a favorite? Like, you have to have a favorite. Like, come on. Like, we all can't be loved equally. Like, there has to be a favorite child. And we, I mean, I know some kids do ask their parents that because some of them might get treated a little differently than all the other ones. The oldest might get treated differently. The middle child treated differently. The youngest is treated differently. And we're like, who, who do you love better, mom or dad? Who do you love better? Like, who's your favorite out of all of us? And you know, they always be like, oh no, we love you all equally. You know, <laughs> we love you guys equally. And I feel like, you know what? That's the same with God. I'm not even saying God might love us a little bit more, but I feel like God does also love us equally. You know, he never favors one over the other. He blesses us all differently. He gives us what he knows we need. And we just have to be grateful for that. So I just thank God for what he's, you know, done in my life and has grown me thus far. And I know I'm growing. I have a lot more room to grow. Like, you know, I'm not finished yet. I'm still, a, you know, I'm still pushing. 
I'm still moving forward. I have people in my life that are encouraging me, who are, you know, teaching me along the way. You know, I have Auntie Paula, I have Auntie Tats, I have my mom, I have my siblings, I have my entire family, and then I have you guys, because of course you guys do as well. Just coming on here encourages me and lets me know that I should keep going. Because I know sometimes we get discouraged and you're like, you know, maybe it's not worth it. You know, maybe there's better people out there that say words better than I can. And maybe they can explain it better than I can. But you know what? God has given us all different tasks in life. There could be a hundred people on YouTube or Facebook saying the same thing. And they all say it differently or they all say the same. But it reaches everyone and it has a meaning to everyone, no matter how you say it, no matter how you portray it, it reaches them. And that's all that matters. Even if you hear the same message a hundred times over, you're like, you know what? That's a sign for me to do something. Because when you hear stuff repeatedly, then you know it's like confirmation from God that you need to fix something, or God is trying to tell you that you're doing good, or it's something like that. But, you know, God always gives us those little subtle hints when he's telling us and encouraging us and letting us know that we're on the right track or if we need some, if we need to fix something in our lives. He also tells us that as, as well. God never leaves us hanging. You know, he never leaves us hanging. We're never there wondering if we're doing right or if we're doing wrong. You know, we have knowledge. We know when we do wrong. We know when we sin. We know when we're about to fall. And, and we, we know. We know when we're doing good, we do. You know, like we see ourselves before anybody else does. You know, we do. So we know when we're doing good and we're doing bad, but God still loves us anyway. He still loves us anyway. So I just wanted to come on here and just tell you guys that. And I just hope, you know, that, you know, I just reach you guys, just to encourage you all. Like my, I'm not on here to like judge anybody, honestly, cause nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. We all have our flaws. We all have our faults. We all fall sometimes. And we just need that person that's there to just encourage us anyway, to let us know that we can get back up and we can keep pushing forward. And that's what I want to do for you guys. Of course, I know a lot of you have more life, you know, lived a longer life than I have. And you guys know more than I do. And no matter how young I am, I feel like I still, you know, no matter how young you are, you can still encourage somebody. And that's what I feel like. So I'm not here to judge anybody at all because I have to look at myself before I do any of that. And I'm not God at the end of the day, but I'm just here to encourage you guys, give you guys some joy, some happiness to just smile and just know that you are blessed, you know, that you are blessed. So I just want to say that to you guys, let no man despise your youth. I encourage you to focus on that. You know, God's Thank you so much, Miss Wendy. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. See, Miss Wendy's over here encouraging me. Miss Wendy, thank you so much for that comment. I appreciate it. Miss Wendy, I appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate all of you. <laughs> I appreciate every single one of you guys so much. And just these encouraging words, just an amen encourages me. Honestly, a good evening encourages me. A hello encourages me. It does. It really does because it shows you guys are there just, you know, supporting me and what I'm doing. And I really appreciate that. So I thank you all, you beautiful ladies that are on here. I do appreciate you all. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. But again, you guys remember on Sunday, we are having a karaoke night. And I would love for you guys to come on and join us. I really would. I want to hear some of you guys come on and sing. Don't leave my phone dry. You know, I want to hear it ring at least maybe once or twice. Not all of you have to call on, but maybe like once or twice. Just come on and just like give a song of praise to God. You know, whatever you want to sing. I'm not going to give you guys a song to sing, but whatever you guys want to sing, or if you don't want to sing again, you can pray. You can give an encouraging word. You could do whatever you want to do. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that will be on Sunday. And I will, of course, post something on Facebook to let you guys know and remind you guys. But again, it was beautiful being on here with you guys. I do appreciate it again. So let's go ahead and close it off with a prayer. 
So, Father God, I just thank you for this evening, Father God. I thank you for the people who are watching, God. We might be few, God, but we are many in you, and I thank you so much for it. God, you are such a great God. You really are, God. Anytime we call on you, you are there. You never say no. You never say, I'll get back to you later. You never say, oh, I can't be there right now, maybe tomorrow. You come every single time we call on you, and we thank you so so much for being just being our father you are so good father god you could have left us by the wayside but you said no you are my sons and daughters and i am going to be there to help you and god we appreciate you and i just want to tell you thank you for being who you are in my life i just want to tell you thank you for the people that you have put in my life and i pray for everyone on this live god that you will continue that whatever they need father god whatever they are praying out to you for father god whatever they're crying out to you for father god that you will provide it to them father god because you are our provider god and everything that we need god you give it to us in your time god so god i just pray that you will keep everyone on this line you'll keep them healthy and strong father god you will keep them safe and sound father god that no harm shall come to them or their families father god that they will continue this walk with you god they will continue to hold your hand father god they will continue to look to you god every time they need you or when they don't need you father god they will still look to you god in admiration because you are just so wonderful and we thank you for just being great god God. We thank you for being so powerful, God. We thank you for being a blessing in our lives, God. We thank you because we know you, Father God. And we thank you because you also know us. So God, we will continue to praise you. We will continue to worship you, God, until you tell us to stop. In your name, I pray, amen and amen. So again, guys, thank you all so much for coming on. I hope I see you guys on Sunday or maybe before that. But I hope I see you guys there and you guys call on <laughs> and participate. But if you don't, that's fine as well. As long as you guys are just there giving us some encouragement. I also do appreciate that. We will sing all the songs you guys want. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. It was a blessing just having a little one-on-one -on -one with you guys, just me and you guys this time. And just stay beautiful, just stay blessed, stay encouraging one another, stay uplifting one another, stay loving God as he continues to love you. And continue to bless others as well. If you see someone who needs help, just go to them and talk to them. Or if they just need some sort of assistance, you know, you are there and you have, and if you have a way of doing that, and then you go right ahead. So, because as we bless others, God blesses us as well. So I will definitely see you guys next time. It was beautiful being with you guys. Ta-ta! Good night, good night, good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>